you know, 13 years is a long time for a college football coach. Again, the first three was building the program from scratch, but certainly that wasn't easy. Brian Parsons has more on that. It's my pleasure to introduce to you Coach Bobby Wilder. He came to Old Dominion in 2007 as a virtual unknown from the University of Maine, a lifetime assistant coach hired to build a program from scratch. This place is unbelievable. You know, Maine's considered to be the vacation land. People brag about it, but I can tell you right now, there's four feet of snow on the ground. It's 10 below zero. This is where I want to be. In 2011, Wilder and the Monarchs entered the CAA and success came quick. A 10-win season and a playoff appearance and a national ranking. In 2012, the trajectory continued when Old Dominion announced that it was moving up to FBS and a spot in Conference USA. I anticipated when I was hired five years ago that this day was coming. After one more season in the CAA and a de facto conference championship, 11 wins and a top 10 national ranking, the transition was on. Wilder guided the Monarchs to six wins in its first season in Conference USA and two years later, Wilder's best season yet. Tied for first place in its division, Wilder's Monarchs capped off a 10-win season with a victory in the Bahamas Bowl. In 2018, despite a disappointing 4-8 and campaign, Wilder's crowning moment when the Monarchs shocked the world by upsetting Virginia Tech at Foreman Field. In 2019, under Wilder's watch, Old Dominion opened the rebuilt S.B. Ballard Stadium and won a nail-biter over Norfolk State. That was the final victory for Coach Wilder. 11 losses followed and the once full stadium littered with empty seats. It may not have ended the way he had hoped, but Bobby Wilder will always be remembered as the man who built a program from the ground up, and for that, he will always have a place in the history of Old Dominion football. Brian Parsons for the Sports Wrap. Thank you, Brian. Very well said. The coach, uh, the search for a new coach is already underway. Uh, Dr. Selig says he hopes to have that new coach uh, signed by the next couple of weeks. We'll have much more on that tonight at 1045 on the Fox 43 Sports Wrap. And by the way, the Redskins won yesterday. That story kind of got bumped here. <laughs> but we'll talk about well, that tonight as well. Guy who built that football program from the ground up, definitely worth remembering his legacy.